Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. You're in tune to Roots of Them 96.1 on the FM band. This is the Rootsology program. And this is our Job, Wealth, and Health Creation segment. Of course, it's a thankful Thursday. Rootsy Retro Kylie. And in studio, we have the big man, Big Stone, Claude Sinclair. And uh, he is going to be our revolutionary speaker this coming Friday at um, Conscious Reggae Party Live in Devon House. And, you know, we thought we have to bring him in on this day because there's just so much to talk about uh, in terms of the music. He'll do most of that uh, tomorrow, but we know there are certain issues that we have to discuss this morning. As we say, greetings, my brother. Thank you so much for having me. It is always an honor and a privilege to share quality time with you. Yes, Empress Denise Isis Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's a reasonable time though. Well, I've been extremely busy, as you know. We're working on a massive event for yeah. Reggae Month yes. next month mm -hmm. at the Tony Spalding Stadium. Mm -hmm. The title of it is One Love Jamaica. One Love Jamaica. Yes. Awesome. What's the date on that one? February 22nd. I'll tell you more yeah, after we yes, discuss we the Junior Bias issue because that's yeah. very very, Close very to important. Me. You know, just in the week here, mm -hmm. um, I think it was on the weekend I, or sometime late last week, I saw a very disturbing video. video, mm -hmm. And I was disturbed because I, I recognized that it's not that the persons who were doing the videotaping didn't understand. Only. They knew who, who, they seemed to have known who Junior Bowles was because they actually gave him money to sing, mm -hmm. you know. And giving him money to sing, and this, this icon, is out there and we know he has a, a mental uh mental issue and he mm -hmm. does walk on the street sometimes so they gave him a thousand dollars right mm -hmm. i know you saw it but i'm just saying this again for my my, my viewers and listeners and um he sang a song and they you know they said they wanted another song because in other words we gave you a thousand dollars so you should be singing another song and i thought like, what is this and it was like something you saw that junior just stood there for a while and was processing everything and then he never said in his mind, but this is so disrespectful. He just marched off. Exactly. And he just marched off, and it brought tears to my eyes. And I'm like, you know, don't do this. Don't do this. It's very disrespectful. I know you you, you, you commented on it. You, you made a Most statement definitely. on it. Talk to my, my viewers and listeners about how you're feeling as someone who's so close to the, him and his family. All right. First of all, I want to thank you so much for inviting me to speak on this issue because it touches the core of my heart. Yeah. Now I want to thank every single person out there that has made contribution to Junior Bias. Yes. We don't, we don't, we're, we're not hitting out on how much you can give. A thousand dollars, five hundred dollars Jamaican, it's okay. But then it's the manner in which you give that money and what you expect for it. Uh, when I saw the video, um, I was very touched by it because what they wanted from Junior Biles for $1,000, one person said, and the other one said $50, was for Junior to do an album. Yes, they wanted to stand there and sing every single song that he has ever sung. Oh. And I think that is so demeaning and so disrespectful. Absolutely. I mean, to ask him to do one song we can understand for your video and so on, mm -hmm. because everybody out there know, and a lot of vloggers, you know, are hitting out and talking about the family and saying negative things. And they don't know diddly squat. They don't have, any they don't have a clue. A matter of fact, most of them are just doing it for views. Mm -hmm. They don't even care about you. Exactly. exactly. Ask That's them right. if they have ever made any contribution mm -hmm. to Junior Biles' GoFundMe account. There's one set up by Christine Biles, mm -hmm. and we, his daughter, right? his daughter mm -hmm. and we thank every single person for it. Now, there's one particular blogger, I'm not going to call his name because it doesn't deserve even for me to recognize him like that. Yeah. But what he said, he said that uh, there is a promoter out there that invited Junior Biles on stage and gave him an award. And that was that promoter was trying to look some fame. Come on. That is so much of a low blow. Whoever you are, chuck off in something. I can yeah. tell you that personally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I know Junior by from when I was a little teen. Not personally, but it's record. You know of him. Yeah, powerful music. Pete Don Babla and a place called Africa, Curly Locks, Locks, and the Immortal yeah. Fade Away. Yeah. So about three years ago, I overheard something that Juno wasn't doing so well mentally. And I've heard that in the great mind for many years. So I decided as a vlogger to use my platform 
and I did so in a respectable manner. I took uh, my friend Wilder and Patrick Kwame Romance along with me, and we went looking for junior buyers. You can see that video on YouTube, looking for junior buyers, the journey of looking, finding junior buyers. And when I found him, it was such a warm experience. He was very clean. His father's house. You found him where? At his, at his home. home. At his home. At his home. Okay, his yeah. father has a nice, beautiful home. I don't want to disclose the address. Uh -huh. um, but Juno was well taken care of. He has a personal assistant. His family, Bev and Veb and everybody else who are there, they took extremely good care of Junior at that time right. when I met Junior. Matter of fact, his father, about three years ago, mm -hmm. his father was still alive, Junior by his senior. As a matter of fact, when his father died, mm -hmm. a lot of persons thought it was him who had passed on. Right. So people were announcing it, not right. realizing it was his dad. Right, because yes. he's Junior to the senior. Right, right. And um, there's that interview too that I spoke to Junior by his father spoke to his sister and I spoke to his father and the amount of abuse from time to time that people like those 15 minutes famous come to the gate and they want Junior Bias to do um, a dub for them and then give him a draw of herb or give him two, two cigarettes. I'm saying to myself, a draw of herb and two cigarettes to an icon of the caliber of a Junior Bias. It brought tears to my eyes and um, I said I must do something. And I reached out to a lot of people, the 90s, the Paul Burke, the uh, Honorable Babsy Grange, because I have to bless that lady. She, as soon as I reached out to the Honorable Babsy Grange, she was there immediately. She gave us the Ronnie Williams Center free yeah. of all charges, whether electrical or cleanup or otherwise. So, Minister Grange, if you're listening, or anyone who knows her personally, Big Stone Records want to thank her from the core of their heart for what you did for June and recognizing the icon. And um, we did a concert, and to be honest with you, everybody came out and wanted to be a part of it. Everybody. Everybody came out and wanted to be a part of it. And um, I was very happy that they, they did participate. I want to big up um, Earl Chinnismith. I want to big up my friend Earl Chinnismith, wherever you are, Earl, thank you very much. When I reached out to Earl, Earl came out with, with outpouring arm. He bought his band, Bingistra, mm -hmm. and he performed for Junior that night. And it was a spiritual awakening. World of Reggae was there also, all the way from the, um, from the Netherlands or Europe somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they videotaped. There's a video of the World of Reggae, a yeah. uh, 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 compilation of the concert. E. Kamos was there. Ra Deal was there. Um, Dark High Marshall flew in, Horace Martin came in all the way from Canada, and there was so much love being attributed to Junior Bass. And, and you know what, Denise? Yeah. We did not ask Junior to perform because we know his health yeah, is so you paramount. Don't want to really take exactly, of exactly, yeah, exactly. So you could have said, yeah, man, come on. No. And then, you know, the only thing we asked Junior Bass to do, and the video is there to see for yourself. Is to just say thank yes, you. Come on stage. You know what I mean? So it touches my heart to hear some of these wannabe vloggers mm -hmm. because they beg for views and they beg for subscription. Yeah. Big Stone don't beg for views and I don't beg for subscription. I'm a I'm a revolutionary type of vlogger. And when <laughs> I do my work, if my work stands up and it is something that you appreciate, then I welcome your subscription. I welcome your likes. I welcome your thumbs up. If my work is not of such, do whatever you want. You don't have to subscribe. I don't beg for subscription. I don't beg for views. You understand me? So so when this vlogger, this, this little piece of nothing, that's what I classify him. And it's a him. And I don't even want to call his name because right. it's not the, the, the way we do things. But you can check it out and you'll hear the video because they think that they're popular and they're famous and they're this and they're that. Right. Ask them. Or, or, and he said, oh, I'm crying. It hurts my heart. And I'm crying. What have you done? Yeah, what all the other criticizers? Oh, what are you doing, are what are you doing towards like, Junior like Bias more yeah. than put up a video yeah. and further embarrass him by putting up this video? Because yeah, that's what you did. Right. Yeah. If you put up that video to get a view, I did it because I want to show the world because oh, I have done something, yeah. but I just want to show the world how disrespectful these people, yeah. Yeah. so-called wannabe Jamaicans, 
Because if they were really Jamaicans, they would cherish the icon. They would make sure they go up and beyond the call of duty to treasure our one of the greatest singers that ever Absolutely. came out of Jamaica. Absolutely. So what's the status now? Um, um, well, I spoke to his daughter on yeah. a day-by-day -day basis. Um, he's getting treatment for his condition. He's suspected of having a prostate cancer. Yeah, the I test see. totally are not done. It is it's an extensive procedures that they do, but Junior Biles is getting care. Junior Biles has a habit of smoking cigarettes. So from time to time, he's not crippled Denise. So from time to time, Junior Biles will just get up, walk yeah. out to where the store is, right across the street, because that's where they videotaped him. They didn't videotape him in Crossroads. They didn't videotape him in downtown yes. Kingston. Yes. They're trying to make it look like Junior Biles is wandering, wandering the streets, eating out yeah. the garbage. Some some vlogger are even saying that um, he's on drugs. You know what I mean? Just to get a few views, is that what you're capable of doing? You can put a video together. And I'm so happy that we did this show two and a half years ago. Honoring the legend. The trophy that Junior Bile got is made out of crystal. It is 100% crystal. That cost close to $50,000. And I did it because we want his family to know that he's worth billions of dollars. And we can do it, you know, because I couldn't do do it by myself. Right. You know what but I mean? I did work, it with the help of yeah, people yeah, just pour in and and and, 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 and I, I, I was brought to tears when I made the handover. Right? I was brought to tears. Doing, it, it was supposed to be an annual event or Yes, but um because of um how the situation is right now, we we're looking at setting up the foundation properly and yes. the daughter is working okay. on that. Okay. Matter of fact I would bring her to you. She's yes. coming in very shortly for Good. his birthday, uh, which is the second of February, right. and she's gonna make some announcements. And they're trying to get money in uh, um, to help him with his condition. Right. There is a GoFundMe account that is set up. Please give it up. Reggae superstar Junior Biles GoFundMe account. All right, say it again. Reggae superstar Junior Biles GoFundMe account. If you type that in, you take you straight, and we want to thank. It's almost close to five thousand U.S. dollars. Awesome. We yeah. want to thank everyone because we want these little so callers to understand that people are working behind the scenes. We're not exploiting Junior. That's I don't right. want That's nothing right. from Denise Isis Miller. Don't want nothing from Junior Buys. We work because we're community uh, activists. We believe in uplifting and motivating and bringing our community to the world. And I've been doing that for the last twenty-five years. That's why you're our regular speaker tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, so exactly. So, sure. thank yeah. you for that invite. It's just a yeah. platform for me to vent my feelings. I'm not angry because what the negative have done is bring more recognition yeah. to, the to the situation. And yeah. people who really genuinely love Junior Biles, they will continue to support him, and continue to listen. And and oh, exactly. Oh my God, fade away. Yeah, exactly. Those who don't know. Absolutely. So, um, you've been in the business for 25 years. 25 yes. Years. 20 something, almost yeah, 30 years. Yeah. And um, this is Reggae Month here. There's mm -hmm. a big event. Tell okay. us a bit more about that event that's coming up for Reggae Month. Okay. I can tell you real quickly, Denise. Last year we have seen over 1,326, over 1,400 people killed in this beautiful country. I love my country. I gave up my green card. I gave up living a life of luxury in the United States of America. You know why? Because John F. Kennedy says, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So with the knowledge of mass of the Honorable Marcus Garvey, the right Honorable Marcus Garvey has taught me well. And I said to myself, with the teaching of Mr. Garvey, I'm coming back to Jamaica to recognize one of the greatest human beings that ever walked on the planet Earth. So what I did was I invited Dr. Julius Garvey in 2012. He came again in 2013. We went overseas and we bought N. Cusinati Biko, the son of Steve Bantu Biko. We bought Dr. Pastor Ray Higgins. We didn't keep them to ourselves. We shared them with the great radio station of IRFM. And I take this opportunity to big up Kabo wherever you are. You are my, you don't understand how much I love you, Kabo. And Muta Maruka. Thank you so much, Muta, for the work that you've done in keeping the name of the Honorable Marcus Garvey alive. So with that, this concert was done 42 years ago. It was done on April 22nd. 
at the National Stadium, and it was Bob Marley's One Love Concert. Now, the difference between that Bob Marley One Love Concert and this One Love Jamaica concert that we're having is Bob Marley's concert was politically motivated. There was a political fight in war and peen, peen, jail, peen, people killing each other, left, right, and center. This is not a political war we're fighting among ourselves right now. We're fighting an individual war. So what we're doing, we're not, it is not a peace concert because we didn't create this war. It is not a unity concert because we didn't create the division either. Mm -hmm. It is a one love concert because we know that the foundation, if it's love, then peace and unity will prevail. We have taken steps and we have confirmed international motivational speaker, William King Alice. He's only 30 years old, but why he is so important is his mother died of a heroin overdose. His father is in prison for triple homicide. He used to eat and sleep from the garbage and sleep at the busway, the subways, and every other places you can think of. And he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, ah, self-reliance, do for self. And because he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, he is now one of the top motivational speakers in the United States of America. I can tell you this, his fee is 20,000 US dollars to speak. And when I spoke with William King Alice, a fraction, I'm talking about pennies, just to cover certain, you know, um, yeah. Cover, yeah, that's it. But other than that, he waived 99% of the fee just to come to Jamaica to raise the kings and queens and to raise the yeah. consciousness. Because my sister Denise, I believe Zosa is not working, and we all know. We know the uh, our state of emergency is not working. So we know that those forces are not working. But we have never tried the good old-fashioned love. Let's get back to love. They're Let's bring this fire love. Fire people, yeah. You know what I mean? So and good. also, yeah. one more thing, but quickly, we also, your friend, Jessica M. Bangini. <laughs> M. is going to be here. She's going to be here, Woo! definitely. Matter of fact, she's going to be in Jamaica for the Bob Marley uh, uh, sixth birthday anniversary, okay, December yes. 5th. Yes. And then she's going to fly back to the United States, and then she's going to be back here in Whoa. Jamaica for the One Love Jamaica concert. So, I'm Jessica you, Mbangini, wherever you are, William King Alice, we love you, man. Jamaica love you. We stand ready and we await the arrival of the king and the queen. Yes, what a royal affair. Most but definitely. But then you have other artists who are performing as well. Yes. Name some of those artists who are going to be there for this one, though. Sister Denise, we spoke to King Yellow Man. Yes. And King Yellow Man is an household name. Every single Jamaican know him. Mm -hmm. And when we spoke to him about what's happening with our country, man, tears rolled down his face. He said, Big Son, I'll practically do it because I have performed in Arne Gardens when I was a young performer ah, and sound system, yes, but yes. I never get an opportunity to perform on a stage. Concert. So this yeah. concert is headlining by none other than King Yellowman. Wow. And then, of course, Freddie McGregor. Ah. Freddie McGregor is joining force yes. with Powerhouse because Powerhouse, and I, I can't big him up enough, George Pang from on the garden was instrumental in helping us to acquire the stadium mm. and it's not a political thing but i must big up um the mp for the area mr mark golden yes. when we present the idea of a one love concert in on the garden he welcome it right with open away. arms yes. of course of course something so positive then we have Being peter forward. metro yeah long time to peter metro mikey yes. general yes yes ever burning torch uh, a new coming that is taking this country by storm, mm -hmm. Bertus, you know, Nature Ellis, yes, Sativa, yes. the black That's one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? This I concert, Denise, is free of all charges. Me. Not a dollar. We just want you to come in and yes, support so um, the food and the bars and yes, so on yes. because the proceeds from this concert is going right back in the community. Exactly. I'm not exactly. taking a dime from this. Yes. I'm putting yes. in my service because I am a Jamaican 100% and not just to look views. <laughs> but put in the work. Everybody looking views. Yeah, man, the ground. <laughs> I put in the work, just like yes. for you and the ground. Yes, I put in the work. Absolutely. So it's another reggae month. Uh, Phenomena. 
And to me, it looks like it's going to be an annual event for us. Most you definitely, know? most definitely. Yeah. And then we'll move it from different communities to different mm -hmm. communities. Mm -hmm. While um, William King Alice will be in Jamaica, he'll be visiting a number of other communities. Mm -hmm. One of the communities that will... You know you got to bring him here. Coco most Gandhi definitely, Gandhi. most definitely. Right. <laughs> he's going to visit the community of Tivoli Gardens. Ah, beautiful. Particularly Rasta City. <laughs> The yes. foundation of Rastafari, and he's so uh, 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 enthused. I have to big up Razzle Dazzle wherever you oh, are. Razzle Dazzle, bless up yourself. Razzle Dazzle <laughs> is instrumental in this, so we big up Mr. Razzle Dazzle yes, anywhere yes, you are. Yes. Dilly from Denham Town, big up because we're going to be going through these communities, South Side, different different oh, areas. Oh, 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 you know oh, what I mean? Oh, a yeah. pain land. So it's going yes. to be a joy. A joy just to have him here yeah. and sharing his experience with Jamaican people. And with people. Jessica, oh my God, what? Uh, that's really the king, the king of the queen. The king of the queen. <laughs> <laughs> you know how she is already. It's going to be really amazing. Yakum. And we want to say... <laughs> Yakum. Yakum, Yakum. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky to see her. I'm she so excited about that. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you brother. so much. All the great work you've been doing over Thank the years. Thank you. You know, we really salute you. It's a thankful thank Thursday, you. and we thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. And it's an honor for me to do it. It's like nothing. Yeah. It's it's if I don't do something for my country every single day, it, it takes away from me. Yeah. And I'm not a young man. I'll be 63 years old come July 3rd. Wow. But I believe yes, that if man. we do for self, if we start loving each other, you know what I mean? More on the Dokono kind of love. The blue dress type of love. The whole ginger kind of love. The sarrel kind of love. You know what I mean? The Aki and Sarpis kind of love. <laughs> and them kind of love that we want to get back to. The Asham. You remember Asham? Asham kind of love. And it's there. It's not gone away. We want to take time out also and big up Little Lenny. You remember? Chi, Chi, Chi got it. Little Lenny is a tremendous force. He's supporting us 100%. So, Little Lenny, wherever you are, man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you so much for the support. Not just financially, but morally, mm -hmm. you know. And there are a lot of other people that support. I want to big up my friend Carl Anderson from Mystic Plaza. He's down there on Agri Park Road where oh, Wapping oh, yes, Wapping Right. Yeah. So, Carl Anderson, big up yourself, man. He's a tremendous tower mm -hmm. of strength for me. And um, he has assisted us in times gone by with Shanika Anderson. You remember that little mm -hmm. six-year-old mm -hmm. girl? 14 years now and we have not heard anything in regards to a uh, killer or killers mm -hmm. there's also another 10 year old little boy by the name of courtney walker yeah. that has been murdered 10 years ago stabbed over 57 uh. times sodomized both of these children were sodomized one 14 years old one 14 years ago and one uh 10 years ago and uh, the killers are still roaming the streets mm -hmm. So we appeal to Jamaicans to look out for what picking them. They are yes, our children. Yes, yes, Make yes. sure you pay attention. I'm an informer for child <laughs> molester. <laughs> they them say informer for the They them say, but that's what, kill big stone there. It can never talk. If yeah, you see your molesting a little picnic, yeah, or I'll take a little picnic on the picnic, even if it's you are the parent. And we see the child is in a, an uncomfortable situation. Yes. Make we check it out and find I'm out. Walk yeah, walk yeah, walk on. It's yes, better safe yes, than sorry. Yes. You know what I mean? We have to. We have to take it up. It's like, it's, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Exactly. We have. We can't depend on government for this. No. As area leaders, we have to, as individuals, do what we have to do. Most definitely. You know, as community activists. I want to big up on um, the mother of Shanika Anderson, Ruth Green. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Ruth. Ruth, we love you so much. We love your daughter. 14 years now. I'm still there with you. Roma Taylor, mm -hmm. all the way in, in, in St. Thomas. Bamba River, we love you then. We still love you now. We know closure must come one day. Yes, yes. Trust me. We just have to be persistent and we just have to keep going and keep these children in our prayers and in our hearts and in our minds and support whatever cause that come forward. It is so sad. It is so sad. I want to, I want to shout out. Yeah, I want to shout out to Javine Campbell. She recently buried her little son, Benjamin Bear. Remember the garbage truck that overtook? We did an extensive funeral uh, 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 what you call it, we interviewed a lot of people who covered the funeral from start to finish and people from all over the world come in with gifts to Jafine and whoever, Rome or Roma Taylor, she needs help. She's sick to since the killing of her son. You know what I mean? Ruth Green is not doing so well either. 
So you thank you for so this much platform. Working, well, I'm, I'm happy that you're able to come and also come, remind us also, because a lot of times these things happen, mm -hmm. you become a nine-day wonder, and nobody remembers about it. Exactly. And these people are, I mean, the parents or the family members are indeed suffering, True. the community is suffering. So True. we like updates as to what thank is taking you. place in our community, and we also want solutions as well. We have thank to make sure we have solutions as well. Thank so you. thanks again, my brother. Thank you so much. Big and Stone, Claude Sinclair in the house. As a last minute reminder, February 22nd, Black History Month, Reggae Month, mm -hmm. at the Tony Spaulding Stadium in Army Garden, One Love Jamaica. Let's bring One Jamaica love back Jamaica. to love. Yes. Thank you for having me. I love you so Thank much, you. Denise. I love you too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right here on 96.1 on the FM stand.